Welcome to the channel. In the past few months, we have done several AI related videos from AI writing automations for you to AI image analysis for our wildlife pictures. And in general, it's been amazing as to what it can achieve. But now it's time to get AI to help, not only with writing automations, but with also with suggesting new ones. You see, the trouble is that people get into smart homes by hearing about it, rushing out and buying a whole heap of devices, maybe setting up Home Assistant or maybe just buying green or the yellow and getting everything up and running and then it hits you. What next? I mean, it's a great little weekend project, but when you sit down with all that sensor data and devices that are connected and try and figure out what will these devices do and the data that it's passing you, it can get a little daunting. This is where AI Automation Suggester comes into its own. It's an integration that runs on your Home Assistant instance, collects all of your entity information and sends it to an AI model. This can be cloud-based for best performance, but it can also be local if privacy is a concern. It analyzes your Home Assistant instance and provides automations based on the available entities and provides suggested automations based on the available entities. Better still, it even gives you suggested YAML automation snippets that you can use to create your automations, plus a whole lot more. Your time is precious, so let's open Skynet and dive on in. Now to install the AI Automation Suggester, you're going to need to be running Home Assistant 2025.3 or later. You're also going to need an AI model. This can be cloud-based or local. I'll be using Google Gemini 2.5, as at the time of recording, this is the most powerful AI model on the market, which hopefully will give you the best results. But if you have privacy concerns, you can also use a local model. Check out the video in the pop-up above on how to install a local AI model. Open the link in the description for AI Studio. If you've not already done so, create an account and log in. Press the Get AI key in the top left-hand corner. Now I already have an AI key for the Google Gemini that I used in the AI wildlife video, but let's create a new one for the purposes of this demonstration. Press Create API key. An API key is associated with a Google project. In my case, this is Gemini API. If you don't have a Google project, then you'll be asked to create one. I'll just reuse this previous project. Now press Create API key in the existing project. Press copy to copy your API key. Keep this somewhere safe and don't share it. Now we can progress with the AI Auto Suggester installation. Now to install the AI Automation Suggester integration, you're going to need to have hacks installed. If you don't have hacks installed, then watch the video in the pop-up above and come back to this video once completed. Navigate to the link for the AI Automation Suggester, link in the description. Copy the URL. Open Home Assistant. Navigate to Hacks in the left-hand menu. Press the three dots in the top right-hand corner. Select Custom Repositories. Paste the URL into the repository field. Use the drop-down, then select Integration. Now press Add and close out of the panel. Now search for and select the AI Automation Suggester. Press the Download button in the bottom right-hand corner and confirm with Download. Refresh your screen to make sure that the download button disappears from the bottom right hand corner. This confirms that the installation was successful. Now we need to restart Home Assistant. You'll notice that a new setting notification has appeared, advising you that the AI Automation Suggester requires a restart. Select and press Submit. And now press Finish. Home Assistant will now restart. Once Home Assistant has restarted, we need to add the corresponding integration. Navigate to Settings. Devices and Services. Press Add Integration in the bottom right-hand corner. Search for and select AI Automation Suggester. Here we need to select your AI model, of which there are currently eight available. These range from cloud-based to local models such as Alama. For the purposes of this video, we'll be selecting the Google Gemini 2.5. Now press Submit. Now paste in your API key. Next, you need to enter the Google model. It will default to Gemini 1.0 Pro, which is good, but it's out of date. I'd suggest using the Google Gemini 2.5 AI model, as it seems to work just fine. Make sure you copy it exactly as I have on screen. I'll put this into the description below. Google Gemini has a token limit of about a million tokens. Change your token limit to 1048576. Now press Submit. 
you'll be greeted with a success message. Optionally allocate an area and press finish. If we now select the devices, it shows that new suggestions are available. We'll look at these in a minute. Selecting the entities, you can see that Google as an AI is now connected. And in selecting the second one, you can see that new suggestions are also available. As soon as you install the integration, it will perform its analysis and provide the results as a notification. Select notifications in the left hand menu. First off, you'll see that the integration has reviewed all my entities and found that a lot of them do not have an area assigned. Areas are used extensively by the AI to determine suggested automations. It sounds like I have some homework to clean up my installation. In the next suggestion, the AI has reviewed an existing automation for the ensuite bathroom light and determined that since the sensor has an entity for illumination, then the automation can be enhanced to include this as a condition. It even gives you the YAML code that needs to be inserted. In addition, it also gives me a suggestion for a new humidity sensor and also the automation that could be deployed to control the exhaust fan. And in another suggestion, it recommends that the lounge lights could be dimmed when I'm watching TV. It also suggests the triggers, conditions and actions. Now this is not YAML, but YAML snippets, which we'll show you later how to convert into YAML. Now, if you don't like any of these suggestions, you can always create more. Better still, you can prompt the AI to cover specific topics or devices. Navigate to Developer Tools, select Actions in the top menu. Search for and select AI Automation Suggester. If you have multiple AI providers, maybe one local and one cloud-based, then tick the box and use the drop-down to select your preference. Else leave blank and it will pick up the default. If you wish to prompt the AI to a specific category topic, then make sure that the custom prompt is ticked and enter in your custom prompt. By default, all entities are selected, but you can exclude entities as required. By default, all domains are included. However, if you wish to define specific domains to be included for analysis and suggestion, then specify your domains in the provided space. These should be entered in plain text separated by commas. For a list of all the predefined domains, I'll put a link in the description. And finally, you can enter the number of entities that will be considered. 200 is the default, and this is used to stop overwhelming the model. But since new models can cater for 1 million tokens, I'm pretty sure that you are safe to increase this now. Once you are happy with the settings, press the Perform Action button in the bottom right hand corner. Depending upon your selection, you can see a tick come back once completed. Even when I maxed out the entity limit, this still completed in under 30 seconds. Now let's have a look at the revised list. Navigate to the notifications in the left hand menu. The suggestions that we created before are still there. However, a new set of suggestions has been created. Now cleaning up and rationalization is one thing, but I know all of you want those new automations, not just the maintenance. For new automations, AI Automation Suggester provides you with something called YAML snippets. This is a shorthand that defines the specifics of the goal, trigger, condition and action, but also uses the actual entities. This is the perfect format for AI to convert into actual YAML code. I tried Gemini, Grok, Chat, Manus, plus a whole heap more, and I kept coming back to ChatGPT as the best all-rounder for this purpose. Let us know in the comments which is your preferred AI agent for YAML. Open up a new tab, navigate to ChatGPT.com. Copy the prompt from the description below and paste it into the AI prompt window and press enter. Now copy the YAML snippet for the goal, trigger, condition and action for the suggested automation that you wish to create. Switch back to your ChatGPT tab, paste in the YAML snippet into the prompt window and press enter. ChatGPT will return the exact YAML code required. And in my experience, this is actually very accurate and works first time. Remember that if you want to modify your automation to a specific requirement, now is the time to do it and to get chat to make your modifications. Now highlight all of your code and copy it. Move back to Home Assistant. Navigate to Settings, Automations and Services. Press the Create Automation in the bottom right hand corner. Select Create Automation. Now press the three dots in the top right hand corner. Select Edit in YAML. Highlight the code that is there at the moment and paste in your new code. Now press save. Give your automation a name and optionally an area, a category and labels. 
then press Rename. Now press the three dots in the top right hand corner and select Edit in Visual Editor. Verify the code and test. Now that's simple, gives you control as to which automations you wish to implement and allows you to modify these within the AI to meet your exact requirements. It couldn't get much simpler. Now I think you'll agree that this solves a huge issue of figuring out what you can do with all those smart home devices and sensors. It literally does all the thinking for you and suggests automations based on every other smart home it can find on the internet and even gives you the YAML code snippets for good measure. I know for me, this was a revelation, if for nothing else than for ideas as to what was possible. I think you'll find it equally as amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you want to have access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a channel member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if you want to join other like-minded people, then why not join the Discord channel where smart home enthusiasts meet to solve each other's problems. And if I've helped you create a multitude of new smart home automations to amaze your friends, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.